Hello and welcome to another edition of Quick Look, Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. My name is Jeremy Sentner and I work as a pre-sales architect at Sickage, a professional services firm outside of Chicago, Illinois. Today we'll take a quick look at expense management. D365 has a robust expense module complete with a downloadable app. The app can be downloaded in the Apple Store or the Android Store. Today I'll be showing a demonstration from an Apple iPad and then pick up the expenses within the browser-based client and submit to workflow for processing. The D365 mobile app comes with several modules out of the box, things like project time entry, expense management, and purchase order approval. In addition, you can create new modules if you'd like. Let's go ahead and work on creating our expense entry. From this menu, I can capture a receipt with the camera or do a quick expense entry. Let's do quick expense entry for today's example. First, I must select category, enter a transaction date, enter the merchant name, the transaction amount, what currency it's in, and then I can decide whether I want to choose an image from an existing picture or library or take a picture live with the camera from here. I'll go ahead and choose one from the library. From here I can navigate to the correct album, select the receipt for attachment. From here I can click done and the changes will be synced back to the browser. Now we can navigate to D365 to complete the expense report process. D365 has role-based workspaces and they're designed for specific functions. We'll be using the expense management workspace for today's example. Within this workspace I can see expense reports, unattached expenses, and then analytics. The expense we entered earlier will show up in the unattached expenses category. This view provides a preview of unattached expenses that can either be added to an existing expense report or by creating a new report. Let's go ahead and create a new report since there are none outstanding. From here I can enter a purpose, a location, and if I really want to I can map it to a travel requisition as well. Once I've entered all the relevant information, I can either submit it, which will actually attach the expenses to the expense report and submit the expense report to the workflow, or I can say continue when I can go ahead and review all of my expenses prior to submission. Within the expense report review form, I can see all of the expenses that I've attached to this report, along with some of the details that have been synced over from the mobile app. I can also enter additional information in the box here for my reviewer, as well as I can add information such as project ID, category, and activity if this is a project-based expense. I can also preview the receipt that was attached from the mobile device. I can go ahead and save the record and review the rest of my expense report. When I feel confident it's ready to go, I can submit it to the workflow and it will be processed by the next person in line for approval. The approver or approvers can be notified via on-screen notification and or through email. Well, that's all the time we have for today's presentation. Thank you for joining me with another quick look at expense management within Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. My name is Jeremy Sentner, a pre-sales architect at Sickage.